Hello folks and welcome back to Vintage Survival. Here we are, we're in June now, we'll split the times back up there times three. And yes, we have been a little bit busy since we last seen each other. So yeah, what I've got done is just go on and tie up the other bit, got things moved over and out. But also we did some contract work, including a harvesting contract for 55. We got seven and a half thousand of the original sorghum left over. That was about eleven grand profit for us. So I also did a furrows contract and a plan contract. Because yeah, we were desperate for money in that. And that's because I've gone and purchased more fields and some random fields, some may say. So yeah, let's go and have a look. We've got a couple fields ready to harvest. Actually, have a little look. So, yeah, got one here that's just been planted. That is a wheat field. And also, we've got a barley field ready to harvest. Actually, if that's just been planted, I thought I was going to be more ready. So actually, you know what? Let's go and sell that. I don't need that one. Because, yeah, I thought we're harvesting the wheat. I'm going to get straw from it. So, I'm thinking. Get a few fields now that are ready to harvest so we can get a bunch of straw. But looking at the PDA, it's not really main fields that are ready yet, so. So, yeah, it's just that one field. I thought that one was ready, but. And uh, that's a mistake on my part. So, yeah, we've got harvesting to do on this field. We've got grass to cut and bells to get sludge bells. On top of that, we've got weeding to do on 48, because we've got weeds growing on the <coughs> sweeping field. So, we're going to have a bit of a action packed episode, and I've got a plan with the whole bell situation. I'm going to be sorting these bells over winter. However, there is a mod that's come out recently. That's going to make it very easy to sort our bells. And basically what that means is part of the workshop has a little storage space on the side, so my plan is to convert that little bit there into a bell and pallet storage area, so yeah, let's get this head and done. And I think we'll set the worker off on this. And then quickly we'll get the work on the combine. So yeah, we'll get sure we'll get that belt. And yeah, we do have a lot of grass to do because yeah we've got 52 51 and 54 to cut so it's gonna take some time but yeah so if I say set you off set you off on that and you can go if we say get a worker just go to here. That would do just fine. But yes, go into our John Deere sec. Because yeah, there's this entire area over here that I thought we could use to store our bells. So yeah, what's going to be is I think it's under silos. And go down to the end. So yeah, it's the anywhere object storage by Argosy Gaming. And yeah, there is a few options we can have. But I think for us, we can only really have the small options. So, let's get this lined up. So, make sure the poles are in insight. Actually, also, I need to put my interactive markers on. So, I can actually see where the hazard box is. That's where the bells are going to be spawning. When we take them out, so something like that. The collision player, I don't care. <coughs> and yeah, so that actually, how's that looking? Nice, like actually looking good. We've got a bit of space of the Indian. So yeah, when we get all of our bells. Oh, no, no, no. You're not wasting money by doing that. Oh, I hate when the workers do that. It's just like. Why? Okay, in fairness, I do get why. This is a bit of a iffy area to cut down here and mow. Not mow, harvest. 
But yeah, so I think what I'll do is just get a couple of these little sh test strips done. And then, yeah, we will just get the work set off because, yeah, we got a lot of work to do. And yeah, we're at 76 grand now. We're at the point where money ain't necessarily an issue, especially with all the sides you'll be having coming in soon. So really, my plan is now, where do we go from here, like, I do have plans, but that's going to be about a year and a half away, because I'm thinking as we approach the 1990s, at the moment it is 1988, so yeah, I'm thinking as we get into the 1990s, we move, we move to a different area, whether it's Germany, Poland, or even the, the USA now figure out a space where we could go and set up a farm. Of course, if it involves moving. Yes, yeah, just, just wonder what I was doing. Yeah, if it requires us to move, we're gonna need like a little war chest because depending on where we're going, the fields could be rather than like say 20, 40 grand, they could be 200 or 450 grand, so that's the thing we need to consider. But yeah, so yeah, I think my plan would be now is to simply save up and only spend money as and when. But I think, actually, I say that who wants some of these big fields here? Like 55, that is 147 grand. So yeah, I've still made up doing that. Actually, was for here to empty this into the trailer. See now, perhaps could do with getting the proper small trailer in that because, yeah, like this, it's okay to. Try. But yeah, like for doing it on our own, we can get this in. Try to do it with a worker, and it is impossible. So either that, maybe just get a short trailer in that, like how it sits above the ground. Or is it because of the dolly in that, the fifth wheel? Should we just get a shorter dolly in that and pull behind the tractor in that? Honestly, I don't know. That should look in that the wheat. Yeah, 100%. Grass here, that should be... Wait a minute, why are we getting the same 5%? I thought we... I thought we had double application of fertilizer on these, right? Oh, frick's sake. We only got one application of fertilizer on these grass fields. Ah, oh, bugger. Well, that's going to affect our yield. But anyways. Yeah, technically I could do a cheeky put a fertilizer on now, but no, I need to do that. But yes, yeah, so anyways. Worker's off on doing that. Worker is doing the mowing. And I think we'll just win row, so yeah. It is... Actually, you know what? I'll set a worker on that. We'll get you a start to bathing, so... It's all hands on deck at the moment, so... I'm thinking... Start off on the straw and that. Yeah, start off on straw. And then afterwards, we'll start doing the grass bells and the sludge bells. But yeah, so it's going to take a while. So let's get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
there we go. We are done. So that's all the harvesting done. All the mowing and bailing done. Haven't wrapped the bells yet. We'll sort of save that for a little bit. But yeah, so with the barley, we've got 15,800 years. With the wheat, we've got 17,600 years, I think, give or take a dozen years or two. But yeah, so I think for now, we'll put this all in storage. I am tempted to get something like the windmill in to process all this to get flour. Yeah, there is like a cheap windmill we looked at recently as a sort of bit of a perspective, so have a little look. Yeah, so this one here is by Umatona. Dang it, I wish we kept sorghum because yeah, 7,500 litres could have got us that, but oh well. Also, I want to start looking at like things like the artillery, uh, was it artillery, whatever it's called, bakery to get cookies and bread. That requires butter, chocolate, sugar, and yeah, I'm pretty sure we can purchase a lot of these. So I'm going to have a little look. So, yeah, oven for cookies and bake. So yeast, yeah, all that. So we can import chocolate and that sugar if needed. So, but then again, would it be profitable that way? Honestly, I don't know, but let's quickly put this back into the silo and then we'll start doing the wrapping. So, yeah, I think we've got a fair few bells. We've got like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. At least a good, just on these fields alone, a couple of dozen bells. And yeah, that's going to be absolutely helpful, especially once we start getting stuff into storage. So that's going to just brute force my way around. And with that sorted, we'll grab our front loader. I did buy this. This is the front loader big bag part of the CSE pack. So you time to look. In total, yeah, we 70,800. We did have about 800 euros or two in there. And yeah, a fair bit of barley. And yeah, of course, we need chicken feed in that. Oh, maybe so. Ah, well, I think we're at capacity. Hmm, that's going to be a problem. Especially getting contracts coming up, so... Because, yeah, these only hold 30,000 litres. Do I have another silo? Well, yeah, I do. Yeah, these ones are uh, 35. But yeah, for 10 grand, let's go back another one of these in. I could do. Very much could do that. However, I think. Uh, yeah, I'd rather stick with an old silo. Got the farm silo. 25 grand, so pretty much the same size as our. Cause, yeah, it's probably the same packed. Oh, uh, yeah. Where do we place it down, though? That's going to be the next question, because we don't have literally much space in the farmyard, so... Ooh. We'll figure that out later on. But for now, let's deal with these bells, so... I think what we should do... Did we crack our eggs? Yeah, ooh, 5,500 litres, so that's going to get us, what, about 16, 17 grand at the moment? But yeah, I think I'll chickens, eggs, and I'll wait until November. Because yeah, we're in no rush to get fields and that. And yeah, once we've done some prep work, we'll sell that. So yeah, I am going to flip that field, but I will put a crop in. But yeah, in terms with other fields, I'm thinking I'll buy these two. That is, what, 55 grand? And yeah, well, should I just save up for the big field? I think really, saving up for the big field would be the better option. But yeah, I don't know. I should dump you here. So I want to test our bell storage, so... 
Let's go grab the straw bells. I'm not sure how many of these we've got. I know there are some up north now. We'll grab a trailer now and take it up with us. Yeah, so we'll flip it over. Get our tension straps. How many of these can we lift without a weight? That's going to be the question next. I think you know, we can easily lift four of these. Yeah, I should have enough space for four, so that's free. Start feeling the weight effect. And last but not least, they're number four. And put it down. I think, yeah, I should sit with three. So, yeah, we do have to lift just about, but. But yeah, I think for the bells here, the straw bells, we'll just go around and pick them up like this, because put them on the trailer ain't going to be worth it too much. So yep, yeah, that's the bells going in. And how do they look? Nice. So yeah, the wood beams are of course where it is going to be stored, so... Obviously it's the smallest one, but yeah, 250 of anything. This could be pallets and that, so... For example, we can put... Let's just do the bells first of all. Actually, no, nah, nah, screw it. Arguing myself here. So, I think we've got some bags now. So, you've got an IBC tank here. Off the liquid fertilizer. We've got some seed. Because, yeah, this would take anything and everything. If I can grab it. There we go. But yeah, this is such a very good and a useful mod. And most likely it's going to be the thumbnail for the episode. But yeah, just back in there. And it just looks right at home. Like, it looks perfect. Especially with a barn like this. Okay, can't get rid of these. But still. That is absolutely just incredible. Like, so... I think, yeah, let's go and rest these, these bells. We'll go and grab these manually. And then, well, the other ones we'll grab manually as well, but put them onto a trailer because, yeah, I think we're going to need a few tricks if we do this just the normal way. If we put the bells up north, so. Let's go and put these bells in. And yeah, let me get this done. Shouldn't take us too long. And then we'll start doing the bell wrapping. That is the straw bells picked up. And yeah, Buffle, whilst we're here, we've still got the bar in the trailer. Let's go and just top them up. And yeah, we did make a little cutway here because this chicken pasture had a recent update where the feeding was on this side, but now it's on that side. So I thought, yeah, make a little bit of clearance in the landscape. And how much do we have left in here? Yep, still 15,000 years. So yeah, actually, let's go and have a little look first of all. 
Oh, some more IBC tanks. I think they're the herbicides. So they left them there. We'll one of those tidy things up. Just because we're going to be using that to spray 48. But yeah, let's have a look. 20 bells are in here at the moment. And yeah, that looks absolutely nice. So yeah, I doubt we're going to fill this up to the max just yet. Maybe once we get the bigger fields than that. Always going to get too much straw because we always got canola and soybeans on the work at the moment. So it's going to be a while before we're having more bells than that, I'm sure. Oop. Ah, yeah, the tires on this, so bear with me a sec. Whilst I switch these out. So, right, that should be better now. We swap them out, put some BKTs on. I think we have Versteins on, so pay two grand for the tires. But yeah, also I thought, whilst we're here as well, or whilst in the workshop, do a little quick repair and stuff so everything's all topped up. Fuel and that, that's going to last us a little bit more for a while, so I'm not too fussed about that. I'm still got a little bit of fuel left in storage that I'm starting to put series with, so for the time being, we're not worried about fuel. But yeah, I do love this Scorpio Bell Wrapper. It is absolutely beautiful it's using the latest technology to be able to wrap up these bells via just, yeah, drive around. And it sort of wraps itself on command. But yeah, so let's go and get the rest of these bells wrapped up. And then, yeah, I think so what we can do is Whilst they're fermenting, they're going to take a month to ferment, so... Might as well just whack them in storage. Actually, yeah, look at the weights. Is there a difference? No, no difference that way. All's worth checking, so... Yeah, bear with me a sec whilst I get these bells sorted. And then, yeah, we'll put them away. And I think that's what we'll leave it for today. And there we go, we are done, so we've got all these spells wrapped. And yeah, just be sort of stacking them up and then come along and just grab them. So yeah, we'll grab at least four and yeah, there ain't gonna be enough room on there. And since the two storage is just over here, I'll just go and whack it in. Just got to be careful of this, this little descent. Yeah, I should really smooth that out like it is bumpy as heck, so Anyway, let's go and put this in. And then we'll go and grab the pickup. So, got to let go, get in. Okay, fair enough. I'm guessing because they're fermenting, it won't go in. That makes sense in that, so, fair enough, so. By that means, it looks like we're going to have to wait on getting these bells in, so... So yeah, I thought, yeah, we're just taking it straight away. So I've used like, bell storages before, where it was take these bells, when they're still fermenting, and the way it counts as two bells, because it's grass and silage is just fermenting. Honestly, yeah, I'm not too sure, but... Well, anywho, what site is that? I think we'll take you off the field. Because, yeah, one thing I want to start doing next is, in the next episode, is prepping the field snap. So, see, I'm thinking of doing corn in that or something. I'm not too sure yet. I have a little thinking between episodes because after this, I want to get corn farm done before mods drop today on Thursday. Because, yes, yeah, it's 29th today and. Yeah, most could drop at any time now, like last couple of days. Mods has been dropping around, ooh, around about 11 a.m. here in the UK, so that's literally half 10 now. I want to get this up today. Also, to get Court Farm recorded days and that, because I think with Court Farm, I've got two episodes left to record on that. Of just how I've been planning things out and structuring it, so. Get that done, so then, yeah, I can have more focus on village survival. Yeah, I was aiming and arming about 
whether or not to cancel the series or not, or not cancel, but put it on a bit of a hiatus, but I'm, not, I'm, still, I'm still enjoying it, I'm still loving the challenge of that, it's a different to survival challenge, and yeah, we're getting a decent bug at the moment. But obviously when we put this economy scale onto other maps and that, it's going to be a lot more difficult. This is, in terms it is easier. It's harder than anyone said, but it's easier than pretty much any other map I could have picked. Well, at least that's my opinion of it. Yeah, there is a couple of options for us for maps and that, in terms of where we could go in the 1990s. So, but yeah, if you've got any ideas, comment down below on what particular map that would be good for us for the 1990s. See, I'm thinking about USA's, like some of the Michigan maps, like either Michigan Farms or Michigan, not, not Michigan, um, Frankie Move. Yeah, that's it. See, yeah, there's so many options, and I've already got eyeballs on some equipment that I'm f f guessing are coming for the 1990s. Of course, it's still a couple of years away before anything is reduced, but yeah, I think I've I've seen a, well, what was it, a psychic? Yeah, it's all psychic, and yep. I read my fortune, so. But yeah, also now we need to deal with these weeds because I completely didn't realise that we had weeds in this field. But anyway, who will get this weed done? Shan't take us too long to do. And actually, what? Let's get a work on it. So yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave today, so next time we will be planting. Also, we'll put our social bells in once they've done fermenting, that's going to take till about this time the next month, so July, around about 4 or 4.30. And then, yeah, because yeah, I want to do corn maybe, because if we could do corn, I'm thinking we can get signage, because we do have an option for this a custom fermenting silo 10 grand very good output and throughput so want to get that done also want to put the windmill down and yeah we have the money for that and yeah i know we can sell the silage now but yeah that's 143 thousand years plus an additional let's double check the sizes of these 11, 22,000 years, that's 164,000 years, and in terms of prices, up here, so if we go down silage, at the moment we're going to get around 286, and it's going to get worse, so let's we wait a few months, then come around November, December onwards, it's going to be a, worth a lot more than it is now, so... so yeah, I'm thinking... 3 grand in total for the productions. The f that's going to cost us, what, 24, so 54. I'm not too worried about that, that could wait until after we've done the hard sale on those, so... Oh, it's been cultivated. Actually, what is in the 87? Is that potatoes or sorghum? Have a look. Actually, what? Let's buy that. So, yeah, I think actually. Well, I've still got the eggs as well. We can sell the eggs. How much we've got? 5,600 or so. I think overall, what we'll do is we'll sell some of the wheat or barley. We'll sell the eggs. And then, yeah, that should have enough money for everything we need. So, we can afford to put these bells in storage. Storm over the winter and that, and then come for maybe our final year on the map before we move out, so we can start looking at other equipment because you yeah, have things like combine harvesters and that. So I do want a big field on 55 for our final year, so that's going to be the money from slice bells is going to pay for pretty much, or at least about half of it, and then combine with contracts I've accepted one or two already. Have a look. So yeah. Platinum and Sobin accepted those. I'm waiting on for a contract on 55 to pop up. 
So if we have a look, so yeah, it's still saying it's been harvested. So anytime now, that will pop up for plowing or cultivating. If that comes up, I will be on that <laughs> like a dog on heat. But anyways, that's where we're gonna leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the like button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us a please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for choose to do, hope you're nice today. But for now, this is Fabra Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon. Mm -hmm.